w- w- once this is all over, uh, we should get. I've got a mate, uh, Jared Clifford, who we've, we've had on the radio show before. He's going to Tokyo yep. for the Paralympics, right? He's legally yes. blind. He's competing. Get this. He's competing the five. I'm legally blind. The five thousand, right? The ten thousand. Yeah. He's a runner yeah. and the marathon. Wow! Still in three events. I was like, dude, chill. Like, just go free holiday. Like, what are you doing? Yeah, he's a, he's a freak. <laughs> yeah, I reckon. Give you know what? We should pack him some condoms. Yeah, probably. He he's yeah, very, we'll get him on the show. Jared's a legend. He's a happily taken man. I don't think his <laughs> girlfriend would appreciate that. But um, For, so they can have safe sex together. That's what I was saying the whole time, yes. Luke. Don't assume. Yeah, yeah. Um, you know, he accidentally. Did I tell you that he accidentally ran a world record? Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you did. Imagine being that's so funny. <laughs> that Whoops. good. He was I'm pacing. He was pacing someone for the marathon, and then he got yeah. like you know thirty five k's in. He looked at his watch. He's like, "Geez, I'm I'm tracking pretty well here. I might just finish it." And then he ended yeah. up beating the world record in his category, which is so funny. Like I've never accidentally done anything good in my life. Like that everything is, I've done has yeah, pretty much been intentional. Anything worth you know talking about. It's pretty much been all calculated and intentional. So, does that mean that that he reckons that if he were to try, he could smash the world record, which is now his own personal best? Uh, yeah, but also Tokyo is pretty hot, like different climate. I don't know if you're like oh, if any true. world records will be. All the world records in those events get beaten in like the Olympics, where it's like eighteen degrees, and you know, in Europe or something like that in the summer. Yeah, that's so interesting. How much like. Just when it comes down to like milliseconds and seconds when it's a record, like stuff like a few degrees with the temperature is yeah. can make or break it. That's really funny. Um, so what else do we have to talk about? With a lot imagine of sports. If that chat. happened to us, like you know, we're like imagine if you did this Perth show and you just bombed for an entire hour and you were like, ah, oh, fuck, the air conditioner was on the wrong setting. Sorry, guys. <laughs> but that has fucked my Perth Fringe show like two years ago. Do you remember that? Yeah. You came and opened for me once in that it little so hot, hot room and the air con yeah. was fucked and it did yeah. literally because it, it fucks the crowd. They're like, oh my God, yes. I'm so hot. Why am I in here? And it was awful. We had the door open and there was a fan and that was it. It was grim. Yeah, that happened at my, my Melbourne Festival run this year. So there were so many people upstairs that one night it was way too hot and that kind of messed with the vibe because people were leaving to like have water and shit it was that hot and I almost I, I, I couldn't handle it too like under the hot lights as well it was even hotter than the audience was so then the next night we turned the air con on, to, on like full blast and the next night was too fucking cold it was like a fridge people were like freezing <laughs> so it does you know we're joking but it does affect you you gotta have that nice temp for a good comedy show 